If you spend most of your time behind a desk or in front of a computer, then the position and alignment of your workstation is very important. Hi, my name is Ruby and I'm from the physiotherapy team at the Singapore General Hospital. Today I'd like to share with you some tips on how to make your workstation a pain-free and happier environment. The main components of an office workstation include the chair, the desk, monitor, keyboard and the mouse. The way the workstation is designed affects the posture adopted for work. Therefore, the workstation should be set up such that the user can work comfortably in the most ideal posture. Do you know that prolonged sitting during office work can increase your risk of developing work-related musculoskeletal discomfort? To prevent this, a short break should be taken every 30 to 60 minutes of continuous work in a static position. This will also help to enhance productivity. An adjustable chair should be used for office work. It is necessary to adjust the chair to fit the user, the height of the desk, and the nature of work. For instance, you should adjust the height of the seat so that the elbows are at 90 degrees by the side of the body when the forearms and wrists are resting on the table. You should also adjust the position of the backrest until a comfortable pressure is exerted on the lower back when one is comfortably seated at the desk. The backrest should not feel as though it's pushing you out of the seat or that you have to lean back too far to reach it. There should also be a two-finger clearance between the front of the chair and the back of the knee. Your feet should also be resting comfortably on the floor, otherwise a footrest should be used. The thigh should also be almost horizontal and the lower leg should be vertical. Generally, armrests are not essential. If you are using armrests, Make sure they do not hinder you from getting as close to the desk as you require. The height of the armrest should not be too high as to cause your shoulder to be elevated when your arms are rested. Neither should they be too low as that will encourage a slouch position. Next, we move on to the desk. The desk should be wide and sufficiently deep to accommodate the monitor, keyboard and mouse, as well as any documents used for work. Keep the space under the desk clear to provide sufficient leg room in sitting. Clutters under the table will prevent the user from sitting close to the table and that will result in a slouch sitting posture. The monitor should be positioned so that the top of the screen is leveled with the eyes. The monitor should also be placed in front of the user about an arm's length away. To avoid glare and reflection, the workstation should be set up parallel to all light sources. For example, windows and light should not be behind or in front of the user. Lastly, an LCD monitor is preferred as it takes up less space. The keyboard can be tilted slightly to suit the comfort level of the user. However, it should not be tilted excessively as this may result in excessive bending at the wrist. Placing the keyboard on the table is preferred to provide adequate forearm and wrist support. The mouse should be placed beside and at the same level as the keyboard. It should also be used with the elbow at 90 degrees by the side of the body. Set the tracking speed of the mouse to suit the needs of the user. These exercises may help reduce the joint stiffness and muscle tension associated with office work. However, if you have any medical condition that may be aggravated by these exercises, please consult with your doctor or physiotherapist. Wrist flexion. In sitting, with one elbow straight and palm facing down, use the other hand to bend that wrist down and hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat on the other side. Repeat this 3 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours. Wrist extension. Keeping an elbow straight with the palm facing up, use the other hand to bring the wrist down and hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat on the other side. Repeat this 3 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours. Chin tuck. Upright sitting, tuck your chin in and hold it there for 10 to 15 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat 5 times every 1 to 2 hours. Next side flexion. Bring one ear down to the shoulder 
and pull down gently with your hands while sitting upright. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat on the other side. Repeat this 3 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours. Neck rotation. Sitting upright, turn neck to one side, hold for 10 to 15 seconds, return to the middle and repeat on the other side. Repeat this 5 times every 1 to 2 hours. Upper back extension. Sit upright with both feet firmly on the floor and reach behind the chair with your hands. Pull your shoulder blades together and look up to the ceiling. Hold the stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat 5 times every 1 to 2 hours. Upper back rotation. Sit upright, hook one arm over the side of your chair and rotate your body. Bring your other arm across and stay there for 5 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat on the other side. Do this 3 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours. Repeated extension in standing. Place your arms behind your back and bend backwards gently. Stay there for 5 to 10 seconds. Return to the middle and repeat 3 to 10 times every 1 to 2 hours. I hope you find these tips useful. Take care and have a good day.